Hey, it's Jill from Glimmerbug, and today I'm so excited about this book. So, um, over the weekend, my uh, my kids and I got out my jelly plate, and we got out a bunch of old um, papers that um, I'd had in my stash back there um, that hadn't been doing anything, and it's just taking up real estate. So, I'm like, I'm gonna make some jelly prints and to just use because I like to have them in my in my stash and I have well, where the heck are they they're, they're just you know I keep, I keep them to do different cards and projects in so anyway I had this big um stash of papers and they were all different like uh um, weights so I'm like I, I think I'm gonna make a book so I did so I did all my jelly plates, which you'll see me printing coming up, and um, I made a fabulous flat lying book of whoops of all my jelly pl- jelly prints, and most of them are pretty thick cardstock. Some of them have um, I tried to use the thicker ones for the book, and um, yeah, so I love how they. I love, these ones are a little thinner, see how they bend. But um, I love how they turned out, and they're all different, and I used up a ton of my um, old cheapy acrylic paints. And, yeah, so um, I hope you stay tuned and see how I made this. Um, you'll need your jelly plate, some, pan- some paints, some doodle pens, um, some washi tape, and I use duct tape for the bindery, binding, and... Um, some I use this glue for my um, my binding and um, found stuff around the house bottle caps um, some stencils um, bubble wrap that kind of stuff so um, if you want to play along join me I've got it in fast forward so you don't have to sit there and watch me do it hour after hour after hour and um, yeah and see see how uh, see how it goes and see if you want to do one too All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a little bit.
Okay, so we got all of our jelly plate prints done um, using all that scrap paper that I had. I'm so glad to use it because it's just it's just sitting there doing nothing, and I love jelly pl printing. So I'm, I really like how they all came out, and they're all different, and they're not a blank page, which is huge, so that's cool. So, um, okay, so if you hear growling and um, stuff going on, my uh, pug puppy and my English bulldog are playing um, tug-of-war with a poor, unfortunate little, um, what the heck is he? I think he's a frog. So if you hear <laughs> growling, they are having a ball, so that's just what that is so anyhow um, back to this so these um, covers that I made were just using I had some crappy board over there just plain crappy white board I don't know where it came from must come in a package of some sort that um, I just adhered as you saw in the video the two um, two different jelly plated prints on so now what I'm gonna do is oh here they go by my feet again okay um, we're going to start using washi tape. I picked just black and white because um, these are so colorful I wanted something that kind of offset it. And I'm going to start adhering these to the pages. So here's how we're going to do it. So we're going to take our, our tape and we're just going to run it right down the center. It doesn't have to be perfect. If it's not perfect, who cares? Because it's handmade, so don't freak out if it's not like perfectly straight. So we're going to take that, I'm going to push that over, push it down. I'm probably going to alternate, and I'm probably going to like forget which one I did first, but you know, whatever. It's not going to be, it's not an exact science. It's just, it's a handmade book out of scraps of stuff that I had, and I'll be happy with however it turns out. We spent the weekend, my my ladies and I, my girls, because my oldest daughter is headed to a sleepaway camp for a week with her school, and she left this morning. So um, it's out like in the Berkshires of Massachusetts, way out. She's gone all week. So we spent uh, yesterday with her, um, with one of her girlfriends and that's going, her best girlfriend. Um, and then my middle, middle child making art journals <laughs> to take with them so that they can document their trip. So they took that. She went off happily this morning, at 7 o'clock this morning, to go catch the bus and off they go see I tore that but who gives a rat's ass all right so I might end up I don't know how well this tapes gonna hold this does I'm not totally impressed with it but that might have to come into play later that I don't particularly like the way that's turned out but whatever who cares um, actually what I'm gonna do is because these are thickening up so quickly I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to butt them up with the stack underneath to bring them up to the right level. Do you hear that little puppy bark? Isn't she ridiculous? She's so stinking cute. And she has so much fun with the bulldog, Mirabelle. They have a ball together. They play and play and play all day long. And uh, Mirabelle, Mirabelle loves toys. It's like her favorite thing in the world. And when we got this puppy... She was just so thrilled to have somebody to play with. So that's all they do all day long is play, 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 play. And then sometimes Mary Bell gets a little irritated and she cracks off at the baby and the baby bounces right back because, you know, she's teaching her how to, what's proper etiquette in the dog world. But she likes having, having a little friend because my two other pugs, well, they're both, they're both under my desk right now. They're like two little old ladies that they hang out together. They're so cute and they they buddy around and they um they're older so they don't particularly like to play with toys anymore. So oh did you hear that? That's my 
neighbor going by on his lawnmower. So he's driving by. Um, yeah, you know, there's there's some bends in the uh, in the tape, and it's just to hold it together. It's not a big deal if it's got some bends and some little wrinkles. It gives it a little character. And I just keep pushing it over to kind of make it flush over that side. So I don't know what my what my plan for this journal is when I'm done. Um, I kind of want to just use it for quirky the things of the weird, <laughs> weird little things. Um, I bought some imagery um, online from. Oh, see, see, I totally screwed that one up. Um, I bought some imagery. Now look at I'm ripping it. Ah, oh, shit. Well, it's alright. Um, again, third time. Let's say it again. I bought these images from um, this lady who runs. Uh, it's called Crow About Studios on Etsy. Uh, no, not on Etsy. Sorry, she runs her own shop online. And her name is Nancy Bow Miller, and she's fabulously wonderful and super creative and. I love her stuff, and I don't, what the heck did I do with it? The image, oh, here they are. They're all sorts of cool, funky little Halloween images. So maybe I'll do something with those. I don't know. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with this, because, you know, we were making all these jelly prints. Which one did I do here? Um, yesterday, and um, we just kept going and going and going and making all these cool prints, and said, I think I'll end up making a journal out of it. But what kind of journal? I wasn't quite sure. So, but it'll just be a, it gets a little weird when it's thick like this, but just do the best you can. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so Nancy, uh, she has these cool things on her website and I make all, I do a lot of those, um, artist trading coins. I'm actually going to flip this like this. I have more. Um, I do these artist trading coins with a bunch of my art girlfriends and oh there they go. Arguing. Now they're going to chase each other around. So if my <laughs> if my uh, table bounces around it's just because there's a pug and a bulldog chasing each other around. Alright. Um, anyway. Back to what I was saying. So uh, Nancy does these cool images and we do um, these trades with my art group and we do these little, little coins and uh, Mirabelle take it easy and so I use a lot of her coins in my artwork because I just I like that they're so weird and they inspire me to do stuff that I'm not typically used to to doing so I like her stuff See, pull that over, push that down. So I'll probably do something like that. Um, I'm not sure what else I'll do. <laughs> you can hear Mirabelle growling, and she's not growling out of being nasty. She's just she's having a good time. And the baby gets um oh, the baby gets a little uh spun up, <laughs> and she goes and she runs underneath like little tiny. Um, my kid's art desk over there and Mirabelle's kind of a big goof so she can't fit so <laughs> that's Mirabelle getting frustrated because the baby keeps popping out at her and Mirabelle come here so the baby keeps popping out at her and you know she, she eggs her on which is pretty pretty funny so they get along good but it's never I never have a quiet studio like ever it's always me and four dogs, or me and four dogs plus three kids. And then on occasion, I've got my hubs hanging out up here. Okay, so now we're at the end. So that's the end of the book. And now to do the edge. How am I going to do this? I guess I'll go like this, and then um, 
Now they're knocking over. Now they're knocking over their whole toy basket. Um, so I'm gonna go like this, and then um, I'll. I think I might bind it. I think I might use some duct tape to adhere the spine. So I'm gonna turn this over like this, and then I'm going to. Like this and hope for the best. Mm, pretty, pretty good. See that? So now, I mean, it's obviously it's not perfect, but it's okay because it's handmade, and it's not meant to be a perfectly bound book. Um, all right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop these little edges off with my where the hell is it my exacto knife and I'm just gonna try to clean it up a little bit so when I do put the didn't you have the sweetest little cry not cry but growl or whatever um, all right so I'm gonna chop those off just to kind of make it clean across there much better. All right, so then, whoops, I'm getting ready to throw this on somewhere that's not. Um, all right, so there's that. Now, I love it. I think it's so cute. And it's all handmade, and it's all out of jelly prints, so how fabulous is that? And it's a good size, so we can use it for journaling and whatnot. So now, um, I need to, what the hell was I going to say? Oh, I need to go get some duct tape. And then I have this um, PVA glue that I bought for binding books. So this is good uh, glue to hold on. So I'm going to put some of that on here. And then I'm going to put the um, tape on. So then that'll make it so that it's not going to rip. So let me go grab my... Maybe I'll use that now. So let me go grab my tape, and then I'll be right back, and we'll do that. Okay? All right. I'll be right back. All right. So I just went over, and I found three, three different tapes that I have, and I'm not sure which one I want to use. I like this one, but I think it's too busy. I think I'd rather use one of these. And I'm kind of leaning towards that one because I like the way it takes that color out. So I think I'm going to go with that one. So what I'm going to do is, like my fancy top for that, yeah, I lost the stupid cap for it. And I have no idea where it is. I hate when I do that. And then I have to use like this stupid top tape thing that never works. But anyway. All right, so let's take that like that. Get them all pushed together. I'm actually going to take these clips and hope for the best that they're going to hold it. Oh, they're awfully, there we go. Um, just so it holds it tight and doesn't move around a lot so that when it dries, it's got, it's there. It's up moving all over the damn place. Okay. So I'm going to take this glue. This glue, so when you use it, it's super, super watery. Like it's super thin. So it'll gush. So you don't want to use a ton of it all at once because it'll just make a complete disaster of a friggin' mess. And you don't want to do that. So little is better at a time. And, you know, as you can see, the... My binding is not perfect, which is fine with me, because I really, like I said before, I don't give a rat's ass. Oh, there goes the FedEx guy. My God, he's so busy today. All right, so we've got that. Now let's cover this up with my super fancy top so it doesn't wear out. Get that the hell out of my way. And now let's move these over so I can tape it. Let's see. I pulled that up. I'll have to fix that after. Okay, so now, the heck is the end? So 
So this is, I'm going to do this. I think I like it this way. Yeah. I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to go over the edge because I don't, I can cut it, trim it off later. later. I like the way that looks. I think it's pretty. And I can always, you know, futz around with it later and change it. Okay, so watch the glue because you don't want to get the glue stuck on your stuck on your art. Okay, and then pull that over tightly. And again, if it's got wrinkles in it, mine will have wrinkles in it. I'm not going to freak out. Who cares? Not like you're going to be selling these at Barnes and Noble. There we go. Good. I like it. Okay, so that has to dry. Um, I'm going to leave it for a couple hours to dry because I don't want it to... I'm not going to trim these until I know that it's dry. So I'm going to let it... What the hell does it say for drying? Of course it doesn't tell you. Uh... Hmm. doesn't say so because why would it say um so i'm going to leave that for a couple hours to dry um on my desk and then i'll have a nice little book to go in and um and journal in or add some little pictures or you know or that kind of thing but what makes me super happy is this thing cost me nothing. It cost me no money. And I had a good time making all of my jelly prints. I got to use up pieces from my um, my stash, which is excellent. And my husband was laughing at me as I was doing these. I kept throwing. All I did was use these crappy little acrylic um, paints that you get at you know, Walmart. I don't spend a lot of money when I do this kind of stuff because, you know, you just kind of goop it on and um but he was laughing at me because I kept using up not like half used quarter like the bottle was like maybe this left much left in it so I was going through flying through so now I look at my my rack over here and it's got like 18 open spaces to buy more paint however I'm not going to because as I've said before in a couple of videos you know we're trying to pare down and um we're going to be getting ready for a move um, in the next couple months, so I want to uh, not replenish the stock because the less shit you have to move, the better it's going to be. So so that's that. So anyway, um, yeah, so we'll wait until this dries, and then um, I'll, I'm just going to use it as a, a plain little journal and add things to it and use little cutouts and, and that kind of thing maybe some quotes I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with the cover so once I'm done with this drying I'll bring it back in and I'll do some more adding some more decorations to show you what I did with it okay I sound like Willy Wonka when I say that okay <laughs> all right so once this dries I will be back hey so um I just trimmed off the edges of my uh tape so that um, it's all dry and it looks fabulous. And I'm looking through, and you know what I really love about this book? Look how flat it lies. That's going to be awesome for when I start adding stuff to it. And I was thinking about what the heck I want to do with it. And I thought, well, I could make it just, a, you know, like an unthemed journal. I could make it just, you know, a collage journal. But I'm thinking what I might want to do, I'm going to have to think about it a little more. I'm a big thinker with this kind of stuff because I have commitment issues <laughs> with putting things like this together. Um, I'm thinking that maybe what I'd like to do is turn it into some sort of like a storybook. Like coming up with a character and using different I don't know I, I just keep thinking about like maybe doing some kind of a storybook based on a couple characters or one character that kind of thing because I I've always wanted to do something like that but um I've never actually like followed through and I'm thinking that this might be a good 
way to motivate me to come up with something for that. So that's what I think I might do. But I haven't quite decided because I'm, like I said, I've got commitment issues when it comes to that kind of thing. And I'm like, I don't know, should I, shouldn't I? So, but in the meantime, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this other, other uh, jelly printed sheet that I did. And look at how, isn't that the, like prettiest? It's like all yellow and pink. Um, I think I'm going to take this and I'm going to draw some little, um, little stars and use them as little garland, like floating down. Cause just, I think it just needs a little extra something, something. So that's what I'm going to do for now, just to kind of shut me up and, and keep me happy so I can have a think about what I'm going to do with this. Because I'm going to have to sketch out some ideas of what um, what I what I want to do. So I don't know. I just I keep thinking about it. I'm like, you know, I really I, I hate stars like this. I like them wonky. So um, I don't know. I just think that'd be kind of a fun idea. And the motivation that I have is so my shockingly my kids love to draw and my daughters who are 10 and 8 they've decided that they're going to start their own comic book shop <laughs> and it's in their closet so I'm motivated by them because they They've locked themselves in their closet for the past week. Actually, had to drive up to Yankee Candle and get little glow-in-the-dark stars to put in their closet so that they could have something in there while it's you know dark. And they have all their little um, book lights on, and they they draw and draw and draw. And it's really I don't know I think it's pretty it's pretty cool. Oh, that's just telling me that's my phone telling me somebody's walking in the front door. Um, but I think it's kind of neat that they they do that and I'm I'm motivated by that so well let's try these and see we'll see how they work if they look like crap then we won't use them um but I don't know I'm like thinking about that whole thing and creating a book and my husband's been begging me to do something like that so maybe this is my shot and if it doesn't turn out good, then who cares, you know? But it'd be kind of fun to give it a try out of something that you've made completely from scratch. Out of just stuff I had in my studio. So I think I might give it a shot. So let's see. Let's see how these yellow look. I like that. I think that's... Can you hear my dog snoring? Yep. So they are never far from where I am, especially the two black pugs, they are always, always, always right. My husband says they are like an enema for me. They're always right up my butt and they're so sweet and they, they're right under my desk and that's, that's one of them snoring and oh God, here comes my neighbor again. This guy drives up and down and up and down the street all day long. I don't know what the heck. I, I wish he would get a different hobby because I feel like all the poor thing does is drive around. And he's on his lawnmower. I and mean, I don't I don't quite understand what he's doing. But he just drives up and down the street on his lawnmower all day long. And it's not like it's that warm out, but looks like he's schlepping branches or something. I don't know. All right, I kind of like the way that looks. It's pretty. Maybe I'll do three coming down and one coming up. How about that? Just gives it a little bit of a offset and um, it breaks up the, the color, you know? So, let's see. I like that. I like... I like that. Okay, so um, let's glue these suckers down. And put them right in here. And then 
I'm really psyched about this book. I can't even tell you. Like, I look at it and I can't believe I did it. I can't believe it turned out as well as it did. And it's made out of just stuff I already had. Like, this looks like something that I would look at in a art shop and go, Jesus, I could do that. I wish I could do that. I wish I thought of that. And I actually did. And I did it. Yay. I'm proud of myself. All right. Yeah, like that. And so, funny, um, while I was working on these last night, it was, uh, we were futzing around on the TV because the, you know, it's football season and it's baseball season, playoff season. So, you know, we spent like all day with sports on. And then come nighttime, there's nothing on. So, we're flipping around the channels and kids had already gone to bed. And my husband finds, um, oh God, what the hell is the name of the movie? Uh, oh my God, I can't remember the name of it. It's with The Rock. It's um, San Andreas. San Andreas. <laughs> Where he's like a helicopter pilot and he, this huge earthquake hits and like kills all of California. And he's the only one that can save anybody and... He saves his wife because, shockingly, he has a helicopter and he, he, like, saves her from this restaurant. And I mean, it's, it's like, a completely ridiculous premise, but he's such a likable person. I just think he's the greatest. I don't know. It, my, one of my best girlfriends, she has a huge, huge crush on him. Like, creepy crush. <laughs> God love her. Um... But I don't think, like, I just think he seems like he's a, a nice dude. I think he's, like, somebody that I would, like, hang out with. And I mean, the movie was ridiculous. I'd seen it before. But I just, I don't know. I, I like him as a person. He just seems like he's a, he's a good dude. So I'm just grabbing some of the extra little snippets that I had and adding them around. Just to add a little bit more something. Well, why not, right? All right, so let's see. Let's glue those down. It seems like everybody on my street is out and about today. They're all driving by and going places. And I'm sitting here crying in my beer. Not literally, but because my daughter is, like I was saying, she's out at a this nature's classroom thing with her class, her school class. And uh, it's funny how, like, you get so used to, because I have three kids, so you, know, you get used to the dynamic of having, oh, sugar, um, having those three kids around. And it's going to suck getting, like, getting down to the bus stop, and she's not going to get off the bus. It's going to be weird. I don't know. Like, um, I don't know. I didn't, like, I, I'm totally okay with her going because she's, I was just saying to my mother, my mom lives with us. She's 82. And I was just saying to her at lunchtime that she said, I thought you would cry. And I said, no, I'm not crying. I just, because she's a very, um, She's a very capable child, what my mother would say. She, she's smart. She's very perceptive. She can judge a situation like nobody's business. She doesn't do stupid shit. She is not a very overly trusting person. So she, you know, you really have to earn her, her trust. She's... She can read a situation if it's going to go bad. All three of my kids are like that. And um, they, they can tell right away who the bad kids are, who the good kids are, and who they stay away from. And son of a gun, if they have not always been on the money. Honestly, I, I fully trust all three of the kids. Because they really, uh, they know, they can tell. But it still sucks because they still miss her. Um so I hope she's having a good time. I hope it's not raining. I hope she's not freezing to death. We overpacked, so I think she'll be fine. I'm just going to dry this. Well, 
like how that I like how this turned out. Alright, so let's just go through. Let's just try this one. This one looks like it's pretty dry. And we'll just outline it a little bit. Yeah, so I hope she's having fun. We had to pack a bag for her. We've been packing for less like the last week and um the bag is seriously bigger than her body. <laughs> she's only ten, but she's it's a huge bag, you know, because it's filled with just stuff of the week. And they they give you a list of stuff they want you to bring, like suggested things to bring. And it's like 47 pairs of shoes and hiking boots and this, that. And she's not a big hiker, so we didn't go and get hiking boots. But she, you know, she brought her shit banger sneakers. And, but she's... Uh, She's so excited to go. And then last night, she was like, Mom, are you going to miss me? I'm like, are you kidding me? And she kept saying, I'm going to really miss you, Mommy. So just when you think that, like, you're not the coolest thing in the world to them anymore, you are. She, she's a, she's a love of my life. I love this kid. I love all my kids, obviously. But um, I get a kick out of how... She's really, uh, she wants to be so big, so bad. And then she goes to something like this and she's like, Mommy, I miss you. So I'm already looking forward to Friday. Oh, that's not right. Friday when they, when they get home. I can't wait. I think, I wonder if my other two kids are going to really miss her. I think they will because she's the, uh, She's kind of the pack leader, my my middle one. She's uh the oldest one is like her her hero. She just everything she does is she just loves her. I, I said you're like a stalker because <laughs> she never let her do anything without you knowing first. So, oh my God, you hear my little dog? She sounds like she's snoring and snoring and snoring down there. She's right at my feet, right down there. So they were playing, all of them, as you heard previously. Well, not all of them, the two younger ones. And now they're kind of crapped out over here. And uh, everybody's taking a little nap time. So I love doing these little, like, doodly things because they just it's just fun. It's mindless, and it... It's just cool. And I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do like a black and white stem. Because I love having black and white. Um, I think it just offsets it nicely. Let's see. I'm really liking how it's coming out. This one's not quite dry yet. Let's put a little. There goes the other one snoring now. One thing in my videos you'll always hear is a pug, since there's three of them, or a bulldog making some sort of noise. There. I like that. It's coloring these white. I just got this um, jelly roll pen from my Art Snacks box. So I, I don't know if you know what Art Snacks is, but it's like a um, monthly subscription where they send you a bunch of things in a little box to try out. And um, I've got, I've been doing it for a long time, a couple years now. And um, they sent me this jelly roll pen, and I love jelly roll pens, and I use them. I use them a lot, and so it's kind of funny because the original ones that I have, I still actually have, but they're starting to, um, they're starting to kind of crap out and not have a lot of ink left in them, so it's kind of funny that I got that one. And there we go. I'm thinking the other thing I want to add here is some glitter because who the hell doesn't like glitter? Glitter is fabulous and wonderful and I love it. Oops. 
and I think I might add some um, some sort of shading around this. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I like making these little dangle things. They're kind of fun. <clears throat> they don't have to be perfect. It just looks like it's hanging there. Isn't that cute? Oops, shoot, I forgot this one. <clears throat> I'm going to have to lighten up this white a little bit. It's not really too bright, is it? Let's see. Sometimes the tips get clogged when they're when they get overused and wet, so So it's not really showing up as much as I would have liked because of the white here. So let's see. Let's see what other... Oh, no, I was going to say gold. Mm. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. If it looks like crap, then... Oh, it actually doesn't. Oh, it just stands out a little bit better on the um, on the background because there's so much white right here in this little segment that there I go again junking up the tip um, that it stands out quite a bit better. Yeah, I like that better. I don't know if I'll do them all of them, but um, what am I gonna do here? Let's do little. I don't know, what do you call these petals, maybe? There. And maybe I'll do those, let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Mm. I kind of like green. It's funky, definitely. I like that. Yep. All right. So let's see now. What? Hmm. What do I want to do for a shadow? I guess I could use my sketch and wash, but I'm not quite sure. Let's just see. Let's take a little color off of it and see if it, I might want to use just black, but I don't know, because this is more um, lead color. It doesn't really show up that good, kind of, yeah, doesn't do much for me. So the heck with that. So we'll ax that and I will get out my black colored pencil my watercolor pencil. And we'll add that on there because I think, I don't know, it'll give it a little more. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do the dots like I did on these. But you know what I am going to do? I am going to blacken these up. So it looks a little more um, meaningful. So it doesn't look like I just drew a circle. There. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so what did... Oh, I wanted to go get my watercolor pencil. But where... Where the hell did I put that? Let me see. Is it over here? Mm. It's like this pencil that I I use it all the time. I keep this little why is that in there? Um, I keep this little thing of pencils on my desk, but then I 
like a dope. I never put the one that I always use. I'm an idiot. All right, well, all right, I'm going to have to go look for it in my pencil thing, my watercolor pencil thing. And then I will be, hang on, I had another idea. How about, since I don't have to go digging, I'll use my crayons. Yay, me. All right, so we'll just do this. And we'll see how this works. And again, if it looks crappy, we'll just not use it. But since I had it right here, where the hell's my water? There it is. Let's see. Um, this might, might work. Just adds a little darkness to make it have a little more pop. Some more pop. There we go. Good. Oh, that, uh, that stands out more than it did. I mean, it's not, I don't want it to be so that it's you know, pretty much all you see, but I just want to give it a little bit of a something to offset it so that it pops out of the background just a tiny bit more. So that's good. They have the window open, and it's funny when you sit by the window how you can hear a lot of crap that goes on outside. So, like, I can hear the birds. I can hear, what's his face? I don't even know the guy's name driving by in his putt-putt lawnmower. And I also live across the street from uh, the mailbox, so I keep hearing cars stop at the mailbox. Funny when you actually pay attention to it, you know. There we go. Yeah, I like that. All right. That definitely gives it a little more. Can't really see it so great on the. Definitely uh, makes it stand out a little more, so that's what I was going for. And I might, I might decide to add a little more to it with doodles. I love to doodle. I love to add little drawings and cute little things to my paintings and pictures. All right. Good. Um, do I want to do this guy? Well, I might as well because it's there. And I'm just pulling it. Um, I've got a wet brush and then I'm just pulling the um, color off of the crayon rather than drawing on the picture and then wetting it. I don't know. I just some doing it that way I just think you have more more control over it so you can know exactly how much pigment you're putting on there rather than it being too much right away I don't know I just always unless it's like a big background where I'm scribbling a lot but for this kind of a technique I, I always just kind of get the brush wet and then dip it on the thing so yeah, I like the way that turned out. But you know, I said glitter. Gotta have some glitter. Okay, so where the heck? My desk looks like a bomb went off. It is a complete mess. I don't know. All right. So.
let's do you know what I hate about these this how it stops up and then you have to sit here like a jerk and poke holes in it so that it unclogs oh my god it makes me freaking nuts see again freaking stickles all right so you can't really see it so good but I kind of can oh it's a little blurry but it's definitely there I'm sure it'll show up better in the, uh, the still pictures once I take pictures of this at the end of the video you'll be able to see it better so I've been trying to decide god I can't see Jesus um, I've been trying to decide am I going to add a quote to the front but considering I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to do the whole this thing is driving me nuts I'm about ready to rip the tip off of it um, I don't think I'm gonna put a quote on it yet considering I don't know if I'm going to be storybooking it or not I mean it's it's run oh, I'm gonna lose my shit um sorry um I I don't know what kind of quote I would do if I don't know what the story is for the the book that I want to do you know what that's it I have friggin had it with this stupid thing I'm all done watch this pain in my keister just makes me so irritated when stuff gets stuck like that and then you spend half your friggin time unclogging and ugh not a lot left in the jar anyway but oh my god it just gets my ass okay doot, 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 doot. all right um yes yeah, so I don't know if I'll do I don't know if I'll do a quote or not I kind of not feeling it right now I was thinking of doing these quotes that I was thinking about from my my dad. My dad just died a couple months ago, and he was the greatest. And um, I, yeah, you think of stuff. It's funny how you don't necessarily appreciate it when they're here, but the stuff that you learn from them, it comes up after they're gone, and it some of the stuff like I say to my kids all the time, and I can hear. <laughs> him saying it to me when I was their age I'm like oh my god it did rub off on me um so I was thinking anyway of doing like a, uh, a couple of quotes on here for his but then I thought well if I'm going to do a storybook I'm not going to do that yet so um all right well I'm going to let this dry and then um I'm thinking more and more about doing some sort of quirky funky people and let's see how many how many pages are there one two three four five six here comes one more man seven eight <laughs> nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two geez twenty three twenty four not bad all right so well, it couldn't be an alphabet book because that's too small, but let's think about it. So anyway, I'll wrap this one up for now, and um, we'll, uh, we'll leave this as is so I can put my thinking cap on and see, if, um, see where we're going to go from here. And then I will do a, um, do a follow-up video when I figure my stuff out and see if I end up going in that direction. Um, okay, so anyhow, um, thanks for hanging out with me, and if you, which I hope you did, like my video, then like my video. <laughs> Thumbs up, I think, is what gives me the uh, idea that people are actually watching it. Subscribe to it, and um, 
if you want to drop by my um, my blog, it's glimmerbug.com, G-L-I-M-M-E-R-B-U-G.com, and see what's there. I actually just posted some new stuff, some new items in my shop for creating um, artist trading coins, if you want to check that out. And I will, um, I will see you soon. Have a great rest of your day.